This is Dusko. I'm here with Warp Academy. I'm gonna show you more serum power features. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to transform this sound into this sound in one quick step using Serum's new effects function. But just before I get into this tutorial, I wanna tell you guys about something awesome. We've developed a free Serum Power Features course. We went over our favorite things in Serum that make it our go-to synth. Now in this course, you're gonna get a number of free downloads. You're gonna get free Serum wavetables, free Serum presets, free Ableton project files, and free Ableton racks. So just click the link below and get access to our free course. Okay, let's get into this tutorial now. Many synths have great effects built right into them, but Serum stands alone in this department. Serum's 10 effects modules will get your sound to its max potential. And Serum's new function allows you to save your effects chains and load them into different presets. This saves a lot of time and gives you the opportunity to experiment with different effects chains that you normally wouldn't have put on that preset to begin with. So let's open up Serum. This is one of the limited bonus presets from Serum Darkside Funk. Let's check it out. Saving and loading new effects chains is ridiculously easy in Serum. And I suggest that you begin taking advantage of this new feature now by saving effects chains and even effects modules so that you can easily pull up not only fleshed out effects chains, but those sweet spots you find in individual effects modules. So we're gonna go to the effects page and you can see that we have a big effect chain. We're gonna change it. And then save it. By going into our menu, save effect chain. I made a chains folder, and we'll save it as Darkside Funk Chain 7. When Serum updated to include this feature, and I began to test it out, I was really excited to see that the modulation actually carries over to the new effect chain. And it doesn't matter if your effects are in a different order on your effects rack, the source modulation will actually carry over to the destinations in your effects module parameters. So we're going to take a look at what LFO1 is doing. We're going to load a new effect chain. And you can see that the modulation has carried over, even though it's in a different order. Now, something that is important is good file naming habits. This is certainly something that I've only just gotten in the habit of, so I've been slowly reorganizing my entire computer with a well-thought-out file naming convention. If you start this now, you will thank yourself later. Trust me. I've got a few more full days worth of organization ahead of me, if not more. So we're going to go back to Effect Chain 1. And we're going to save it in a more organized fashion. Since it is a screen base, we can save it one of two ways. The first way, screen, chain, one. Or if you prefer, base, screen, chain, one. Let's save it as that. Okay, we're gonna review our pro tips. In pro tip one, I showed you how to save and load your effect chains. I showed you that you can create your own folders, like I did with the Chains folder, and there's folders for individual effects modules already. In Pro Tip 2, I showed you that modulation carries over to newly loaded effects parameters. Even if your effects modules are in a different order from the last effect chain, all of your modulations will carry over to those parameters. In Pro Tip 3, you're shown good file naming habits. I still stress, start this sooner than later. Here's some examples of good file naming convention. Click the link below and get access to our free Serum Power Features course. I'll see you next time.